hi welcome back to the channel it is week 17 of training a kind of recovery week if you want to call it that and i have a friend hey <laughs> I didn't mean to cut her off. She was gonna say that she is more than just a friend. <laughs> she is my sister. <laughs> All right, we're on a walking trail, so we're just gonna catch up. I'm gonna ask Katie some questions about her training yeah. as we get going here, but I need to start my watch. <laughs> Hang on. I figured since I was about to tell Katie about what's coming up for me, I'd just kill two birds with one stone down here. For the next few weeks, I am deviating from Galloway's plan, but uh, in fairness, I have checked with those smarter than me when it comes to running, and they say that what I plan to do is safe and okay. <laughs> so this week was supposed to be, I think, just five miles um, for the long run, which we would have done today. Today, Saturday, I did three and a half on my treadmill earlier kind of doing a little tempo thing. And then we're out here. This loop that we're on is about two and a half miles. So that'll be six for today, which is what I wanted to do. Because next week, which would have been six miles, I'm running my 20. Because I can't do it the actual weekend we're supposed to do it. Because my kids both have big cross country meets that I cannot miss. So I wanted to get the 20 done and not have to try to fit it in with driving like three hours away for cross country meets. So that's what I'm doing for the next couple weeks. Nice. It'll be, it'll feel, I say for experience, it'll feel really nice to get the 20 out of the way. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Like we were talking in the car on the way here. Um, I was telling Katie about the half marathon uh, that I made a very short video about because it was a very hard half marathon. And I was telling her how it was the first time I'd ran that distance by myself. Um, without the Disney magic. Without the Disney magic, because, you know, the first part of Princess Half, I was before I caught up with this one, um, I was by myself, but there was a lot of things going on. It, it just made the miles go by fast. But this half marathon at Cocoa Beach was, oh, squirrel! <laughs> um, it was straight up A1A, uh, dark for the first little bit. But so, and I, I think that kind of got into my head a little bit. I didn't have anybody to talk to, and it was kind of boring. Um, so I'm worried about the 20 miles because as of right now, I don't have anybody doing it with me. That'll probably change my, my other run girlfriends might come out with me for certain parts of it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, seeing if you can get Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping that they'll be able to. I haven't heard from either of them yet, but, <laughs> um, Kim, you know, Kim, my friend Kim's training for Dopey. You may have seen that in one of my videos, but, um. Uh, she obviously will not be doing 20 unless she's having to change like me, but I don't think she is. But she might be able to do part of her running with me, maybe, and then we'll try to get Emily out there. But a little nervous about having to do a majority of 20 by myself. Okay. It'll be okay. I wanted to ask you Hit me. for <laughs> for the video was uh, because if you if you haven't seen Mouse Jones videos and you're watching this one what are you doing go subscribe and go watch them because <laughs> they're way better than mine um, and they're amazing but I know you mentioned that you're doing Hal Higdon for your yeah. dopey yeah so I wanted to know up to this point what's been different between Galloway and Hal Higdon what you like if, if there's anything you dislike how your training is going Go for it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is the first year I've trained with anything other than Jeff Galloway's. And I actually kind of started 
Galloway's plan this year and then switch when it was time for him to start. So the big difference between Galloway and Higdon that I've noticed is Higdon is based on overall miles, mileage, whereas uh, Galloway is based on time. For um, like the during the week ones. During the week, yeah. yeah. And then he has you hit miles on the weekends. Um, I'm a very slow runner. So <laughs> I am not fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You know, it's something that I want to improve and I'm in a spot now in my life where I actually can work on that. But for this, if I were to do 45 minutes of running twice a week, it's not very high Ooh. mileage for me. <laughs> Whereas Higdon, you start out doing, um, it all, oh, well, I'll also say this. It also has more days of running. And I like having another day of running during the week um, for exercise. Oh, okay. okay. Let's put One on second. pause. Yes. <laughs> We're going down. This is very, I thought this was flat. Apparently, I, I haven't been off this trail in a couple Do years. You're climbing a mountain. Yes. <laughs> We're having to go down. Hang on. <laughs> Training, that just means, I don't know what's over there. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> I think that's the water. Yes. Hopefully we don't get lost because I haven't been here in a while. Um, it's a circle. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, anyway, back to what you were saying. Yes, yeah, so you have an extra day or two of running during the week as well, which I like. So, Higdon, you do miles during the week instead of time. So the first week it had you do uh, like three miles on Tuesday, five miles on Wednesday, three miles on Thursday, with each day having a different kind of um, training behind it. So like one day you do pace workout, one day you do just an easy run, so, and one day you do speed work. So it tells you um, like today here's your miles and this is what you should do for mm -hmm. those miles. Okay. Yeah. See I like plans like that. Yep. So, which Galloway does too. I know it tells you Thursday to do one thing and Tuesday to do another. I've ignored so, that. So, <laughs> the reason, uh, one of the reasons I switched this year is I have, uh, when I change jobs, I have more time during the week that I can run because doing uh, five to, I believe it builds up to nine miles as your longest weekday run. Um, I have enough time to do that now. Yay! <laughs> and I think more miles on my feet is gonna help me most overall going into Dopey. Um, Which, yeah. by the way, if you don't know, <laughs> she ran her first marathon. It was just this year, wasn't it? Yep. January of this year, 2022, yep. and now she's gonna do Dopey. Yes. Because she's Dopey. <laughs> <laughs> the marathon was the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Uh, <laughs> I learned a lot. And I actually was telling an old coworker, she was commending me on being fairly <laughs> dedicated to getting my runs in. Fairly dedicated. Because I'll on. tell I'll tell her, like, hey, I'm logging off, I gotta go do my run. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, you're so dedicated. I was like, I remember how much pain I was in during that marathon, and that's what motivates me to go run. <laughs> there you go. Pain so. is a motivator. <laughs> <laughs> She's dancing in the back. So all of that conversation with, that we had a really a while ago because we haven't we've been focusing on not falling um with the Hal Higdon plan do you feel like it, your training is going well you feel like it's getting you prepared for dopey yeah definitely I'm seeing some improvements in like my speed um compared to the past couple of years I'm a little nervous that the plan only goes up to like 20 miles as a long run but I still think Overall, it'll be good. Um, yeah. I had a little issue with my hip. Oh, yeah. You know, but that seems to have gotten better. I definitely... I'm a terrible sister. I haven't asked her about that in a long okay. time. <laughs> I would have I would have called you to talk about it if I needed help with it, for sure. <laughs> um, but I've gotten more intentional with stretching better, with heating and icing. Um, and that helps, for sure. But... I'm excited. I just gotta well, I think, keep with it and it should be fine. <laughs> I think like what you said, even though it only goes up to 20, like your overall mileage over the oh, entire training plan is going to be higher. It's going to 
definitely be higher because um, I was looking at last year's mileage totals on my Garmin app. My highest month last year was October for 75 and September and October I've already beat yeah. <laughs> 75 and it only goes up from here so it'll definitely be I think that'll make a more difference. More thorough. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, uh, my training this week is, like I said, Monday we drove back from Florida, so I didn't run at all. Tuesday, just did a little warm-up, did Peloton, normal, uh, back to normal weights for this week, and then, I don't know what I did Wednesday. I guess I just ran on the treadmill, I just did three miles on the treadmill. Thursday, uh, I didn't run at all, but I did weights, and then... Friday, which is what I'm super excited about, what I wanted to document <laughs> on here was I went out to our college, to that uh, little trail that I've shown on here before, and I wanted to run, oh, you know, that's what I did on Wednesday. Sorry, we're going to jump back to Wednesday. Wednesday, I did run on the treadmill. I did a total of four miles, but I was working on my little puppy, Sadie, being in the basement with me while I'm running, but not jumping on the treadmill while I'm on it, <laughs> because she likes to walk on the treadmill. So I was on and off a few times, so it wasn't a straight four miles. So when I went on Friday out to the college, I was like, you know, it's been a really long time since I've ran anything over three miles without any walk breaks. I'm gonna run four miles. I'm gonna try to do the whole thing without no, without no walk breaks. Without that no was terrible. That was terrible English. <laughs> anyway, but it, I, I did it. Felt good. Um, my watch, I think, proceeded to tell me that I need to take like two days off, which I don't feel like I'm that out of shape, but, but it was a good four miles. It's a fairly flat little loop, you know, but I, I told myself, I think it needs to be the new normal instead of just doing three miles with no walk breaks. It needs to be, it needs to be four. I need to push myself a little bit. So it's how you grow. It's how we grow. Just, yes. <laughs> So, I started building in speed work, but just like like really good speed work. Yeah, <laughs> that was my growth. <laughs> so, so I wanted to make sure I got that on on video for this week. That was my my big accomplishment was my four miles of no walk breaks. I'm so proud. Of you. Thank you. Um, all right, so we're gonna get out of the woods uh, and go get ready for our little family dinner. Yay, because she's here. She's heading back down to Atlanta, Atlanta tomorrow, tomorrow to do some work stuff, and then she's going to go back to Florida someday this week. <laughs> but um, I thought she could join me for my med lesson. Have you ever read this book? No, but I've been I've been enjoying you talk about it Yay. in your videos. <laughs> um, so we're on, it's week 17, so we're on Marathon 16. It is the 2012 Olympic Marathon Trials that were in Houston, Texas in January. I wonder how hot that is in January. Houston in January? Yeah. It's probably not too bad in January. Um, but this is exciting for, for Meb because he did place first with a time of two, uh, two hours and nine minutes. But um, it was interesting how we got there, basically. The key lesson is when you're fit, you don't have to start from scratch. Don't panic if you encounter obstacles en route to your next goal. If you remember, I believe it was just last week. Um, I believe it was, yes. Last week he was talking about how um, he forgot to take his nose strip out of his shoe and um, it he had to run pretty much, well, it was the whole marathon that year with a uh, nose strip in his shoe and how it bothered him. And pretty much every marathon since that one, he always has problems with that, the skin where that free strip was. But he knew that if he was able to do as well as he did during that race with something that uncomfortable, that it's just, he can always remember that and apply that to new obstacles that come so for the the houston trials he wasn't able to have the entire um recovery and prep for the um for the houston trials because he ran new york which i guess is always in november 
Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, so we're talking yes. about <laughs> he ran the New York City Marathon in November. And that would have been 2011, and he had um, however many months between November and January, that amount of time. And he had done it before, you know, have you know, just a little short recovery, do some key workouts, run the next marathon, and be fine. Um, we're gonna take an awkward pause because I forgot what I read. <laughs> okay, so he. <laughs> Katie, Katie had to leave. And one is about to fly up my pants. <laughs> I can see it. Okay, so he wasn't able to have his um, his total recovery and the prep that he wanted between November and January. There's yellow jackets flying in my ear too, uh, because that place on his foot had become infected. So there was a, a certain amount of time. I don't remember how long it said in here that he was not able to run at all. And then even when he was able to go back to walking, he wasn't walking with a normal gait. And so he was having to deal with that pretty much right up to when the trials was. But like his, where his lesson comes in is that cardiovascularly and you know all even muscularly besides that foot thing, he knew he was ready to run this race and he knew he stood a good chance of placing the top three to make the Olympic team. So he didn't let just this one little infection on his foot get into his brain because he trusted in his training, which is what um, I always hear people say, trust your training. Yep. When you when you get to that start line. So that I mean that's really the basic of the of the lesson. It's pretty simple and it obviously worked for him. He finished like I said two hours nine minutes. He placed first. Uh, Ryan Hall was right behind him, twenty second, twenty two seconds behind. Um, and Ryan was actually favored to be first since he had done so well before. But so that is the the key thing. And I think that's going to be important, especially for a newbie like me. Uh, are you going to come back and oh yeah. she's coming back <laughs> for a newbie like me is once I'm getting into these long runs these 20 miles and 23 26 um to remember that and to hang on to it when I get to Disney and ha I'm having to do the half and then the full is to trust the training and that Galloway knows what he's talking about yeah, yeah he's <laughs> so. gotten a lot of people across the finish line yes I told him that a princess, and I plan on telling him again in January <laughs> that I appreciate the work that he's put into uh, what he does. Yes. So, easy peasy lesson. Get the book. Read the whole story of all of his marathons, because there's always little things that I don't share, but this is a good book. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. I guess I'll see you in January. Yeah, I'll see you in January. Uh, yeah, that would be the next time we see each other. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> election Ooh. Day. Happy up, Election Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> vote. Vote. Go vote. <laughs> um, so yeah, be sure to give this video a like and comment. I don't know what you should comment about. I can't think of anything. Give me a comment. <laughs> and uh, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to need all the encouragement I can get for 20 miles next week. Yay. 20 miles. <laughs> I think I'm doing, next week I'm doing 16 or 17. Okay. Maybe 16 and a half. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll call you during my 20 if I get yeah. bored. I actually, one of my longer, it might have been my 20. I remember I called mom. Yeah, she told me this. And I talked to her for like an hour and a half. <laughs> she really helped me get through. I might have to do that. I haven't really done good that chunk. Yet, I, I might have to. <laughs> Just had her own speakerphone. So. <laughs> it's a song. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Oh, 20. Okay. <laughs> Always remember that you are God's masterpiece. And I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>